Hey, I want to talk to you about blog posts. Having them on your website, Elementor, or whatever you're using on WordPress is fantastic, especially with templates. However, one of the problems is that you don't get built-in filter systems. Yes, you can use queries within uh, post widgets with current query and manual selection and all of that. But what if I've got three posts? I mean, this is a sample. I could have loads more and I've got different categories and I want a filter system at the top. I'm going to show you how to do that without any code and any extra plugin. So what we have are three posts here. Now, each of these has a different category. So I've got fake, dummy, and I think I had sample. So I've given them all a fake one. In fact, here's one of the posts. And you can just see over here, you can see the category, but you'll also notice I have a category called all as well. The reason I've done all is because we might need to use that later on on our filtering system. So maybe you want to see all of the posts or you just want to pick dummy or something like that. So over here, I've just made sure they've all got a category and they've also got all to all of them. The all is also ticked. What I'm then going to do is just go over here and I'm actually going to copy this uh, post widget. This is literally, if I just go into it, this is just a post widget from Elemental. And if you don't know which one I'm talking about, just go over here, type in post and it is this one here. OK, so this is a post widget. And if I go over to content uh, and I scroll down until I get to query over here, there is nothing much going on here. Nothing is excluded or um, basically included. It is everything. OK, I am just going to copy this because what we're going to do is create a brand new template. OK, and add this in. However, before we do any of that, what we need to do is just set up our filter system. So we've already identified that I've created my categories uh, as I have and I've got all. What we then do is go over to WordPress, go to appearance, go to menus. You're going to create a menu for your filtering system. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new menu and we do create menu. And now here's the really clever bit that some people don't realize rather than picking pages, because that's what you're going to see over here. You go down to categories. Your categories are now there for you to pick. Uh, so I'm just going to go select all, add them all. Obviously, you can rearrange them to be however you want. Fake dummy sample, you know, uh, pick them up, move them around, do what you want there. OK, you can even do that as well because you are going to be using a nav menu here. So you can um, stylize it exactly how you would for a menu. Underline background colors, toggle drop downs, however you want to do it. OK, so this is the beauty of it. Let's now hit save menu. Yep, so that's now saved. What we're then going to do is go over to templates and we're going to create a new archive template. So we're going to hit add new and we are going to pick down here archive. OK, and I'm going to call this one. Uh, we're just going to call this one uh, blogs. In fact, we'll call it uh, blog filters like that. OK, and I'm now going to hit create template. We don't need to use any of the preset templates that Elementor very nicely gives us because we've already picked up our post widget from before. So I'm just going to drop that in over there. That's our post widget. OK. Now, here's the key thing you must do. You must click on the post widget, scroll down until you get to query and where it says source, set this to be current query. The reason being is it starts to tie into when you're doing your filtering. So this currently says current query. Nothing is currently set. So that is OK. Great. Now what we do is add in our nav menu. Now, I'm not going to spend time styling this um, because you should be aware of how to do this. And we've got other videos. I'm just going to drop it in there. This could, of course, sit in the center, stretch out. You know, look, there's loads of styling options. In fact, we'll just put it in the middle for now. Like I said, I'm not stylizing it. But over here, make sure you have picked your blog menu. Normally, it picks the last one you've saved. Now, all we do is hit publish. Now, this is important. When you do the condition, rather than saying all archives, you must do this. Scroll down and pick post archives. OK, now there is one more step you need to do, but I'm showing you what happens if you don't do the second step. So if I go over here now and I click a uh, dummy, watch what happens. OK, it's going to go to this. It, it doesn't even bring forward my single post template. It literally just shows me this like dummy weird Ugh, ugly page. What we now have to do is create another template. OK. And again, it's just something to do with the way it runs through the system and works. OK, I can't fully explain it very well. What you now need to do is copy the entire section, not just the post widget, the section or the container, however you're doing it, 
because you need to have the nav menu and the post. Then what we're going to do is go back over here, go back to templates, save templates, whatever you want to do it, we're going to have add new. We're going to again now pick archive. But this time I'm going to give this a different name. I'm going to call it blog filters and I'm actually going to call this one archive. No, not archive. Wrong word, wrong word. Call it uh, results, something like that. Because now we need to make sure the results look like the original template as well. Because at the minute you click it, it's jumping elsewhere. Let's hit create template. Remember, we're doing this without any extra plugin and any extra code. So we're not going to use any of these here. We're going to close that down, go here and hit paste. Remember, we copied from the other template. You don't need to change anything here except when you publish. And when we go to condition, I've told you for the first one, pick post archive. For this one, leave it on all archive. The first one is post archive, which was this. The second one, leave as all archive, okay? And then hit save and close. So this is my first template, and this could be on a page, a separate page, wherever you're gonna set up your blog, okay? Now, if I click on dummy, look at that. It's filtered on dummy. If I click on sample, it does exactly that fake. It does that. And if I go to all, well, obviously it goes back to all. And now if I click this one, it actually goes to our single post template. So it is now pulling through everything correctly. That was a, in my opinion, a really, really simple, easy way of getting blog filters. Let me just take it back to where we were again, right? Like that with two templates, no code, no extra plugin. And I've just done it really, really quickly. Um, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, live the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish hand me the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing.